All right, guys, this should be the last video in the tutorial series. Hopefully, I covered everything that you guys do want to know. This one, we're going to be going over the marketplace, and it should be pretty quick. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to list your assets onto the marketplace, and then secondly, how to purchase from the marketplace. Now, it is a fairly simple marketplace, I must admit. It's going to get a lot more complex, look a lot nicer. There is a few bugs uh, that I will just mention right now that you probably won't see. They'll probably get fixed pretty quickly, but all of the Pega displayed look the same. Uh, when you click on it, you can see the exact details and see it up closely, the actual colors as well. So if you want to see them more precise, just click into them. Um, and then sometimes the times on here are incorrect, but that's probably fixed on your side. So I'm just going to go back to my assets on this side. Uh, and then I'm going to click one that isn't in the renting, breeding, uh, or racing phase. Uh, it needs to be in the resting phase. So if it's out doing something else like um, breeding, uh, you're going to have to click take back. Uh, or you can also do it just from the main menu here, take back. Uh, but it just needs to be in that resting phase. So I'm going to use this one, uh, Anaya Blanc. So this one's a Zahn, this one's a founding. And we want to sell it. So we're just going to click on sell. Now we actually will have the option for multiple currencies uh, as soon as possible. Likely when you're seeing this, it's probably going to be available. So it'll be PGX, USDT or Matic. What you're going to do from there is just put in the price that you want to list it for. So we're just going to do 5,000 PGX, I guess. And you're going to see something here that says fee 3%. That one's actually just the marketplace fees. A similar example, I guess you could say, is Axie. They take a 4.25% fee, I think. Um, ours is a 3% fee. So for any sale, the seller pays the 3% fee. So we would take 3% of the 5,000 PGX. So after that, you just click on Approve. Through all the other tutorials, you've seen the exact same thing. We need access to your Pega, so we're asking you for approval to do that. Once that one's approved, you're just going to click list to marketplace. So once you do that, I got ahead of myself, so I had to cancel it. But yes, you just click on list to marketplace. It's going to pop up over here uh, and then another approval. Just wait for that one to process. Probably take you 10 seconds, 20 seconds. All right. Looks like that one's good to go. This one again is called Anaya Blanc uh, or Blank. We'll just click on marketplace and we should be able to see it there. There it is. That's the one that we just listed. So if you click into it, it will display it correctly. And for the price that it is set uh, on the right, this will usually say something like purchase. But uh, for here, it says unlist because we own it. So an example of one that we can purchase is this one here. Uh, this isn't ours. So it does allow us to click on buy. We're going to click on this one. Uh, it just needs access to our wallet to purchase with PGX. We need to approve that one. And then once she's good, we click buy. Uh, another pop-up and you're good to go. So this one is called Jonathan Sorensen. Jonathan Sorensen. So we should be able to see this one in our My Assets section. Jonathan Sorensen number 227. If you click view transaction, it'll just take you to the uh, chain. So you'll be able to see the actual purchase on chain. However, all we need to do is just go over to my assets and I kind of forget his name already, but uh, that's kind of part of filming. I can't go back. Oh, it's going to be at the bottom. There we go. <laughs> so there he is uh, in all his glory with actually pretty insane wings. They look like they glow. And of course you own it, so you can do whatever you want with it right here. Let's go and sell them again, but this time we're going to list it for auction. So we'll go over here, click on auction, uh, same situation, and whatever price that we want to set it for. This is basically like your bare minimum cost that you want to sell it for. So I'll say I'll only accept 10,000 PGX minimum. So the duration means essentially like the countdown, how long until the uh, event does end, it's going to be three days. So oh, you got to change it over here. Three hours, three days, three weeks. We're going to click on days. And the fee for auctions is 5%. So whatever you earn uh, from the sale, say it's 10,000, we would take 5% of the 10,000. We click approve. Accept the pop-up. And then click create auction. And it's going to do another pop-up. And then, of course, we're going to go over to the marketplace and review uh, really how to interact with the auctions as well because there's probably going to be a couple of bargains there. I would 
if I was you, if I was doing an auction, I would make sure that you don't do some insane silly price uh, because that's not generally how you do auctions. Just make your reserve uh, fair. Um, and if it goes above that, happy days. If it doesn't sell, well, uh, it's probably going to be a better method to do a fixed price and get the price that you actually want. So we'll click on Marketplace. It takes us over here. And then we just set that one up. Which one was it? Oh, yes, it was this one here. Um, and then the current bid is 10,000 PGX. So that's actually our reserve. Um, and that's the bare minimum. It's going to basically tell you that you need to do more. Uh, but if we go back over here, you're going to see this one here. Uh, right here, 13 PGX is the current bid. I'm going to come down here and click place a bid. And I'm going to set it at, what did they set? 13. I'm going to set mine at 26. I'm going to double it. Uh, and then you're going to click approve. It's going to come up another pop-up. I just did it then, but I actually didn't have enough PGX, so I had to go back and redo it. But you're going to click approve. It's going to come up again. Just please, can I access your PGX? And then you're going to click bid, uh, where it's going to come up another pop-up uh, that you just approve the bid. Beautiful. And once that one is done, as you're going to see down here, the current bid is 26 PGX. So if we go back to this one just to refresh it, and there's our bid you can see the wallet address that it has come from that is us uh but yes so that's the current bid and then it's going to end in 11 hours so once that countdown uh reaches zero if i am the top bidder then i have won that pager i think that's a pretty cool thing to add it's not your traditional i guess auction style that you have seen in some of the uh, marketplaces in nft land but this we think this is actually a more traditional um, bidding style as well so that's really how you do use the marketplace. It's quite simple. Uh, you can filter, of course, to whatever styles that you do want um, via gender, via breed type, and then, of course, bloodline at the top here. Uh, if you're wondering what all is in the future, of course, there's going to be other NFTs, gear, food, tracks, Pega, all of that type of stuff. So I am frozen here, but I am still talking. You can probably still hear me. I apologize for my video freezing. But other than that, uh, you guys should be good to go. Uh, if you have any questions, do reach out to us in Discord. If not, I will see you guys very soon. Peace.